Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today, yes, I am vlogging. Um, my little brother feels a whole lot more well. Yes, I am going to the dermatologist for this because I'm, I'm pretty sure it's that one skin disorder I was reading about. That uh, basically, it's a loss of pigmentation. Enough about me dying. Um, basically, I want to start off today's vlog talking about something that has been trending on YouTube for the past couple of hours, I think. Thanks to Connor Friend to doing a video about it and going to the trending pages. Basically, let me get comfortable. There is a short film that is going around on YouTube, which already has 15 million views. It's been up since July 31st, so it's pretty recent. Um, there's a short film called In a Heartbeat, which is an animated short film. Uh, Joey Graceffa apparently just reacted to it like 46 minutes ago. Carter Franta reacted to it, and so many other YouTubers reacted to this short film. And um, I really wanted to give my thoughts on it, not react to it. I've already seen it, so I can't really react to it. Um, I'd be hypocritical if I reacted to it. So I'm not going to react to it. I'm just going to review it just because I really, you know, want to talk about it. It's it's somewhat a subject that is very, uh, not taboo. It's, um, it's, it's tough to get around to and it's tough to talk about just because there's so many opinions on it. Basically, I read the comment section on the short film. Personally, the short film... I thought it was really cute. I thought it was really endearing. I loved it. Um, but there was a lot of comments in the comment section, especially coming from people who said, you know, I'm gay or I'm bi and I don't approve of, you know, um, letting children, you know, know about these things. And others say it was beautiful and it was lovely and it was sweet. Others say that children shouldn't be exposed to this. Others say that, well, others were just homophobic. <laughs> Others saying that, you know, others were very preachy and etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. Personally, I understand both sides of the spectrum in this situation. I understand the people who say that children should not be exposed to this sort of content at a very young age. And I understand the whole sweet and endearing. I love the short film because everybody has felt that same way in high school at one point in their life except for me but everybody else has felt that exact same way in high school where you're too nervous to tell your crush that you like them but your heart is like forcing you to tell them i get that i understand it i understand that you know every everybody has felt that way sometime or another and I also get the part where people say that children shouldn't be exposed to those kind of things at a very young age. And I get it, you know. I guess, you know, I guess one way to put it is that not all animated films are directed towards children. Um, obviously the, the poppy colors and the pretty things and everything, yeah, I guess that's why people might think it's directed towards children. But not all animated films are directed towards children. Sausage Party, that's like a rated R animated film. South Park. The Simpsons, Family Guy, there's so many um, examples of how animation isn't necessarily just for children. Adults can enjoy animation just as much as kids can. So I don't think the creator's idea was to target this short film towards young children, but because it is animated, people see it in that way and they see it in, you know, uh, give, um, uh, exposing children to gay propaganda. Um, but I don't think it's for children. I just think it's a it's a cute short film. Uh, like I said, not all animated movies are for kids. Um, but I loved it. I thought it was endearing. I thought it was beautiful. Would I let my younger siblings watch this? Probably not. <laughs> Probably not. They're still too young to understand love and romance and having attraction towards the same gender. I just think... They're too young to understand that, and I guess that's why people say that you shouldn't really expose children to that thing because then they get confused, and then, you know, if, you know, they ask their parents and they're a bit taboo on the subject, they will want to answer it. So I understand both sides, um, but yeah, I don't think this this uh, film is for, for children. I think this was just made as a as an art uh, project, and it was it was made beautifully. I liked it. I really did like it. I think it was a pretty cute film. I've said that so many times already. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah, I, I get both sides. I liked it. I think it was good. I'll leave a link down below to the short film. It's on YouTube. It's like four minutes long. It's pretty precise. That's what I like about the short film is that it's pretty precise on its premise and on its synopsis. It's not too long-winded, not too heavy-winded like some films are. This is like short and precise. I like it. So I'll leave a link down below. Go check it out. Alright, so it might look like I've done nothing throughout the whole day, but trust me, I've done a lot of things. I actually went to take my dogs out for a walk, then came back, and I saw a trail of blood on the way here to my house. Literally, I'm not kidding. I'm not going to go outside and show it to you because I'm pretty sure that I would get demonetized if I showed it to you. But 
There was a trail of blood starting from the front of the door of my house all the way to the other side of the street. That was a bit intense and that was crazy. I don't know from what that is, but I'm sure I could be able to check it out through the security cameras. Uh, but it terrified me a little bit. Um, I had to carry my dogs all the way back home because I didn't want them to sniff that. Um, but if it was infected blood, I don't want them to die. Um, so, yeah, that was just horrifying. Now I'm about to clean all of this mess up from my room because I have, been able, I have not been able to do it since I got back here. And then after that, I don't think I'm going to go out anywhere. I'm just going to stay here. It's like, it's going to be a really chill out Friday night. I'm not really going to do anything. I don't typically do things on Friday night. Plus, next Friday is also my birthday. So, if uh, one thing I have to do is change the calendar. Hold on. Let's see. Please hold in this very awkward one minute of me trying to put up my calendar. Where is the hole? <laughs> Let's see. Where is it? 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 Oh my goodness. Uh, okay, right here. Right here, right? Right here. A little bit higher. A little bit higher. Where is it? I can't find it. I'm not going to say that again. Where is it? I can't find it. Oh, I found it. Okay. It's somewhere in here. Oh my god. Let's see. Right here. Right here. Right here. This is like doing the Ouija board. You have to move it all around. Okay. Where is it? There we go. Right here. Right there we go. There we go. Fine. How long did it take? It took about a minute. Um, but here's the August calendar. God, I eat everything before the diet starts next week. Um, this is my birthday, August 11th, next Friday. So, um, uh, look out for that because the vlog is going to be pretty interesting. Uh, but yeah, I have a lot to do from here to here. I have to buy a birthday outfit as well because every single year I always wear a new outfit and it's also an excuse for me to buy a new outfit as well too. So, I'm going to do that. Um, the vlog is uploading right now. A lot of stuff are happening. A lot of stuff are happening. A lot of things are happening right now. <sighs> okay, so it might not seem like I did too much in the vlog, but I definitely did an awful lot. For example, that's the garbage, and the room just looks a little bit more clearer than it did before. I know you probably can't see it because you're probably not a nut job like I am, but I can definitely see it. The pile of dry clean clothes is still there because I haven't left my house in 72 hours. So I'm gonna do I'm gonna do that tomorrow. Tomorrow's a really busy day for me. Um, we're also possibly, possibly, possibly are going to be able to go to San Francisco this weekend. I'm not sure. And also, I still don't know what to do for my birthday. Like, every single year, like, the week before comes, I'm like, what do I do this year for my birthday? And this year, I just don't know. I'm get, I'm dying sooner and sooner every year. Um, but yeah, that's only to be fixed. There's my diploma, which, by the way, funny story. The cat actually broke the frame that the, that the diploma was in because it was hung up like in front of the house just you know so you can show off to everybody. <laughs> um, it was hung up in front of the house and the cat was in one of her fits one day and she jumped to the top of where that diploma was with her paw. She dropped it down and the glass broke and the frame shattered as well which was just so upsetting so now it's here like a regular piece of paper but Eventually, I'll get a new frame for it, and then my bathroom was cleaned up as well. I cleaned most of it up because, yes, I can clean. Um, ooh, don't make it sound loud. Oh, there's people upstairs, that's why. Um, but look, it's clean right here, and very clean right here. Um, I cleaned all the windows, cleaned the toilet, trash can clear, sink clear, and now I'm just going to close that for now. Um, just because I don't want to make any loud, louder noises. Uh, but yeah, I guess that is it for today's vlog. And it was a short one. The majority of it was me talking about the short film, which again, in the comment section down below, leave your thoughts on the short film. And also subscribe right here and watch my previous video right here. It really means a lot to me that you guys watch my videos. Um, really, it's just, you're, you guys are the reason why I do it. And I'm just, I'm very thankful every single day. And I will see you tomorrow. Good night.